Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. A couple of weeks ago, we received an email from a priest who had watched a couple of Vortex episodes we'd recently done at the time on the topic of contraception slash birth control. Now in his email, he said he used some of the information we provided in his Sunday homily. It only took a few minutes when he was in the pulpit, faithfully expounding the church's clear teaching and constant teaching that contraception is evil and thwarts the divine will when, get this, a parishioner jumped up in the middle of Mass and began shouting and yelling at the priest. This continued long enough that he actually had to be forcibly removed. When the commotion finally died down, the priest continued, and during the course of his homily, ten other parishioners got up and walked out. Without a doubt, this is the third rail issue in the church, and it gives rise to a large number of other issues. First, we hear quite frequently from the progressive leaders and tyrants in the church establishment that conditions are so much better here in the U.S. than other parts of the world, that while Europe has dismal mass attendance figures hovering around 10% or less, the U.S. rate of around 25% is stellar. They are truly excited about the fact that only 75% of Catholics don't attend Mass each week. Marvelous! Thumbs up, guys! But what this scratch just below the surface example points out is that even many of the few who do attend Mass, the few who do attend Mass, still reject fundamental teachings of the Church. So their motivation for being there is something other than full communion with the truth of Christ. Another issue that falls from the example of the quiet riot in response to the good priest's homily is that it was surely shocking and flabbergasting to not a few in the congregation that the church's teaching is so rigid, so intolerant, so not with it. This underscores the tremendous lack of catechesis present in the church today. The teaching of the church against contraception is infallible by virtue of the ordinary and universal magisterium of the church. And yet it is rejected by a majority, a vast, overwhelming majority of the faithful, and dismissed or ignored, not to mention also probably disbelieved, by a large number of clergy. Yet to misunderstand or reject or not lay significant enough emphasis on this truth is to destabilize a host of other related teachings about marriage, sexuality, and relationships. It results in a corruption of sacred scripture because it has to be reinterpreted and represented in a way that strips it of its original intent. Denial of this teaching strikes at the very heart of the teaching nature and authority of the church. One cannot reject this teaching and still remain a faithful Catholic, despite all outward appearances to the contrary. On appointing 72 disciples to go preach the gospel, our blessed Lord said, He that heareth you, heareth me, and he that despiseth you, despiseth me, and he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. So why is it that so many Catholics today do not know or reject the church's infallible teaching? That's the subject of the latest installment of CIA, Catholic Investigative Agency, entitled The Contraception Deception. Given the far-flung nature of the issue and the breathtaking amount of damage done to souls, this may be the most important CIA episode we have produced to date. It's less than an hour long and we think makes the case in a quite straightforward way that from the very moment this issue took center stage in the church in the 1960s, it has been the essential rot that has created so much disunity and spawned so many other evils within the establishment. We strongly urge you and invite you to view this episode and then discuss it with friends and family and start to help to turn things around. There's an expression in the business world that says, knowledge is king. That could certainly be argued to be extended to the realm of the church as well. Now we've attached a link to the full episode right on this page. Please say a prayer for the good priest who had the courage, the fortitude, to face a quiet riot among his parishioners, and not so quiet rioter we might add, and pray that the rest of the priests, and especially our bishops, will begin to assault this evil head-on, publicly and boldly. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.
Join Michael Boris and Real Catholic TV as we travel to Madrid, Spain for World Youth Day 2011. Catch all the action this August on our No Bull in Madrid website, nobullinmadrid.com, where you'll find the best kind of bull fighting. We'll be bringing you live coverage and special features, including the state of the faith in Spain among the millions of young people flocking there. So click on nobullinmadrid.com, where Real Catholic TV will be taking the bull by the horns for you.